Okay, let's talk about skills that you should have as an entrepreneur. Hi guys, thanks so much for joining me. This week, I'm going to be talking through skills and or resources that you can use to help you be more successful as an entrepreneur. Now, what I'm going to recommend to you is that you pick one of these skills and you focus on it for a while. Now, I like to take these skills and focus on them during a 90-day period, sometimes longer, but 90 days works good for me just because how my brain works. I focus on a topic for a while and I like to shift and learn new things. So pick one of these skills that I mentioned, and I recommend putting 90 days focus onto it and adding it to your skill set. Now, one of the things to understand is I'm not suggesting that you go out and master these skills. You can't master them in 90 days, but you can learn more about them and start to implement the things that you learn. The other thing I want you to understand about these skills is some of them can be outsourced. They outsource. They're not something that you always have to do yourself. You could outsource some of these skills to other people who are more skilled in this arena. But at the very least, you need to have a general understanding of these skills to be a successful entrepreneur, at least in my experience and in my opinion. So the very first skill that I think you need to have to be good as an entrepreneur, and a matter of fact, this skill I think is missing in most of the professionals that I meet that aren't even entrepreneurs is marketing and sales. Now note that I'm putting them together. They're different things. Marketing is sort of promoting your business and sales is closing a contract and these types of things, but they're closely related. They go hand in hand. And this skill set is actually one that I picked a while back when I was doing my own 90 day focus. Now it may intrigue you to know that I'm a marketing major. So I have marketing in my background. I led marketing for a $230 million organization, but I'm constantly brushing up on new skills because in this skill set in marketing in particular, things are evolving so fast, especially with online ads. So marketing and sales is something that you absolutely have to have as an entrepreneur. Now, the reason is, is if you're not good at marketing your company, making sales, you're not going to have any money for your business. You're going to be a nonprofit. And unless that was the goal, you're not going anywhere. No business exists without selling a product or service uh, for very long. So marketing and sales is something that you really, really need to practice and get good at. And as I said, this week, I'm going to be talking about resources as well. So in the next video, I'll be sharing with you some resources to go learn some of these skills. So marketing and sales, get good at it, get focused on it. You can outsource marketing and sales. So for example, if you have a product that's made and it goes through distribution channels, there are agencies that specialize in selling that product. But I still believe that the only people that are really the best at selling your product is you and your team. Uh, and that's also true with marketing. You can outsource some of your marketing to an agency. They can run your social media ads for you and things like that. But as an entrepreneur that has a passion around what you're doing, it's unlikely they can promote it quite as good as you in terms of showing your passion and interest in the topic. So learn this skill set. Even if you never go on to launch your own business, becoming good at marketing and sales will make you a much better professional. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is technology. And adding technology as a skill set is really important. You could ask, well, Jonathan, aren't there some business models that were really you don't have to know technology? Or what about if I'm a startup founder, but I don't have a technical background? Do I have to be great at technology? No, you don't. Uh, with startups in particular, what you do see is when there's two co-founders, one is typically technically focused and the other is business minded, right? And they pair well together. Regardless, in today's modern entrepreneurial world, at least having some understanding of technology is very, very beneficial. I'm not even suggesting that you need to go off and learn how to code. That's a wonderful skill to have. But just understanding how technology interacts, what modern technology looks like versus dated technology will be really powerful. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you're developing an app to go on the Apple uh, store, but you don't know how to code. You outsource that to someone else. 
still understanding the basics of that process will make you a better startup founder in the first place. It will teach you or allow you to ask the right questions for the people that are coding your application. So technology is a really great skill, especially for the modern entrepreneur, because let's face it, technology enables us to start businesses for much less than normal. And so understanding how it works, having a hand at least in some of that, uh, maybe it just means that you understand certain applications like Asana or something like that, right? So technology is a really, really good one. Near and dear to my heart is the idea of finances. So now not just finances in terms of raising capital for your startup or your business, right? So there's debt, equity, you know, that's some of the things I talk a lot about. So not just for attracting capital, but also understanding finances in order to understand how to manage money that you already have. How does cash flow work? Uh, those types of things. So I think it's really important that any entrepreneur understands at least, at the very least, the basics of finance, managing money, managing cash, running a budget. Those types of things are very, very important. There are reasons that CFOs at companies uh, are usually the number two person at these enormous companies behind the CEO because running the financial side of a business is very, very important. Now, under financing or finance, we may also think about things like accounting and bookkeeping. Uh, I don't recommend becoming an expert at accounting unless you already are. I don't think that's time well spent. You can outsource that very well to an accountant. Even your own bookkeeping, unless you're really good at that. I do my own bookkeeping because I have an accounting minor. But you know, if you don't understand that, that's something you can outsource as well. However, I think you need to understand how bookkeeping works. How can you look at the work that your bookkeeper or accountant has done if you don't at least have a general understanding of a balance sheet, of a profit and loss statement? It's really hard to run a profitable business if you can't even read a profit and loss statement and understand how it interacts with other statements. So there are all kinds of courses and resources you can use to just understand just the basics of those that will make you a much better entrepreneur. And then the last one, last skill I want you to focus on, or at least think about spending some time on is being a developer of talent. You know, there are plenty of entrepreneurs who are what you, what you would call a solo entrepreneur. They run their business all by themselves. Uh, they're the only one involved. Maybe they have a blog or something like that. Uh, you know, that's all well and good. But being an entrepreneur oftentimes involves team members, either directly on your team or outsourced, just to, as we've been talking, and being able to develop that talent, develop people, to teach them to do the things that you want, the way you want it done, to improve their skill set, takes a lot of leadership and is a really, really important skill set, particularly if you are going to need new team members, you need to be someone who has studied leadership and developing other people, because those people are going to make or break your business. So some skills to be thinking about, put in the comments below, which one you think you're going to focus on. I can't wait to share with you in the next video, some of the resources that will help you focus on these skills and other resources that will help you become a better entrepreneur. Until next time, hope you find your voice. Have a good day.